What's up everybody? Welcome back to In The Scope. And today we're gonna look at these 18 operators in Rainbow Six Extraction. Uh, let's just go one by one and, um, and see which of the Rainbow Six Siege cast made the, made the cut and who we're gonna be able to take in whenever uh, Extraction goes live a little later this month. So, all right, let's see. First off, we got Tachanka. All right. Now, I actually like playing Tachanka in Siege, even though, like, he was trash before his rework because he just had the stationary LMG. They reworked him. He's a lot better now. So, all right, Tachanka, fiercely loyal and calm under pressure. Uh, Tachanka was an obvious choice for React. His extensive experience with Russian Spetnaz gives him a tactical edge in combat and his DP-28 mounted light machine gun. It's back. So they decided to go with the deployable mounted LMG and his signature SASG-12 semi-automatic shotgun will be the first gun you could use with him. Um, that's his classic gun from Siege. So, all right, right on. So the, the mounted LMG back. I really think He's going to probably be situational. Depends on the mission type. Um, I think that's actually going to be what a lot of these guys are. Is It's really going to depend on the mission type. But, I mean, it, there, I can definitely see where in a game like this, where you're kind of being overrun or trying to pull enemies to a certain area, I can see where it would be really useful to have a stationary LMG that you could just swivel around and just 360 light any shit up that comes your way. So... It's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to have this uh, mounted LMG back. All right. Next, we got Fuse. Fuse made the cut. And um, we always uh, say, you know, when you don't know what to do, you pick Fuse. And that's that's kind of how we roll. So uh, Fuse is back for using improvised materials in field. Expedient applications won him a spot with React. A skilled Spetsnaz. Commando. Um, always been... Let's see, his specialty has always been the dismantling of enemy defenses. So he's going to bring his APM-6 cluster charges uh, to the battlefield, the ideal tool for combating parasite hostiles. So uh, just like he's got in, in Siege, he's going to deploy remotely detonatable charges on walls and barricades, releasing cluster grenades on the other side. Um, that's super useful in Siege, so I can imagine it's going to be really useful here, especially if you barricade a wall, you know, enemies have to go by there but aren't coming through it. You know, set a, set a cluster mine, detonate it, take out a whole gang of shit before they even can make it around the corner. So definitely going to be nice. And he is bringing, of course, his six... P41 light machine gun. So belt fed, a lot of fucking bullets, a lot of fucking shooting. So uh fuse right on. Nice, nice. So next we have Capital, the Nick Fury wannabe here. Uh not a huge fan in Siege. I I feel like he is super situational in Siege, so we'll see how this is, but um, you know, so I guess he's not for everybody, but some people like him. So um uh, well respected and dedicated, Capital's leadership qualities and calm demeanor are an asset to react so um he's law enforcement and he is gonna bring his tac mk zero bolts uh for his um what do you call the damn thing crossbow um so in siege it it's fire and it's smoke and apparently here, he's going to silently shoot bolts which detonate on impact, so that's not change. Can alternate between smoke screen bolts and venom bolts. Now, I think the smoke screen is going to be pretty helpful, especially with all these, you know, parasites running around to not, you know, not be seen. Venom's going to be nice. I think fire could have been cooler. I don't wonder why they switched to venom. That's, hmm, I don't know why they would have switched because I thought fire would work just as well, but... It's gonna be Venom, so uh, we'll see how he, we'll see how it does. And he's got his signature Para 308 assault rifle, so you know, typical Capital. A uh, little change to the type of arrow he upgraded for React, I guess. So we'll see how he does here. Next we have Rook, the big man Rook. Now, Rook is good because Rook is a team player. And that's what you need in this game is a goddamn team. So it'll be nice to have Rook along, especially, you know, if you're... Like, uh, it's always fun whenever we have a new player playing with us, like in Siege. We'll be like, just pick Rook. Just pick Rook. It'll help everybody out. And even if you don't get a kill or, you know, whatever, just just be Rook. You Like, help the team first. And, you know, that way if you fuck up and die, at least, at least everyone got a t-shirt out of it. 
So uh, Rook was uh, specifically recruited to join React for his exceptional markmanship skills. All right, well, we'll see how that works out for him. All right, so Rook is going to, his ability will be drops a pack of armor plates for his team, granting damage resistance. And when wearing armor, always falls to down instead of knocked out. So that, that little bit on the end there, always falls to down instead of KO'd, that might be what makes him worth it. I mean, the increased damage resistance, that's one that's awesome, um, especially in a game where I read that this game isn't going to have any like native healing or like health packs or anything like that to pick up. So somebody who can stop you from getting knocked out and just go to downed every time where you can at least be picked back up, that might that might be good. That, that, sounds, that sounds really good. All right, and then his weapon, of course, he's rocking the P90 submachine gun. All right, so standard Rook, standard Rook, nice, nice. All right, next we're going to look at Jaeger. I hate playing against Jaeger so much in Siege. Like, he's such a popular character, so you see him all the time, and I feel like he fucking kills me all the time because you see him all the time. But Jaeger, he, he made the cut. He's here, so... Um, and basically, he is going to be bringing along his Magpie automated defense system. Um, so in Siege, it kind of basically takes out any sort of uh, projectile that's thrown, whether that be grenades, uh, frags, and stun grenades, or you know whatever comes in, and even some people's abilities and stuff. So um, let's see. Now he's going to deploy an automated turret attacking enemies and intercepting projectiles and enemy okay so it looks like it got an upgrade you know it's going to be intercepting projectiles but also attacking enemies so that'll be nice he, you know he's definitely a set it and forget it type of guy so it might be nice to just be able to put that down walk away and know that not only is it going to stop projectiles but anything that just runs in is going to get hit too so that he definitely got he got an upgrade and i, I like it it's a little bit a little bit less situational a little bit more well-rounded and he's going to be bringing his m870 shotgun that fucking short barrel shotgun i hate it i hate jaeger what the fuck ever i guess he's here we'll we'll move on iq i feel like iq is super uh i know she i know she's like high ranked in like higher level play and lower level play she's not so high ranked um i feel like iq is really good she's always had like really good guns and i think that that was like her biggest thing is like everyone loved her weapons i feel like her her ability could have been better in siege it could have been better used but so we have iq here and she um she's gonna come with her red specter electronics detector oh look at that rhymes all right and so it detects react equipment through obstacles uh, her, she's bringing the AUG A2 with her, the assault rifle, um, AUG A2 is pretty good, you know, pretty good assault rifle. So hopefully it's, they, they do it justice here, but, uh, man, this ability detects react equipment through obstacles. I don't, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I mean, locating hostiles and communicating enemy positions to the team. That seems really, I mean, that seems good. I just, I don't know. I hope, I hope it works out better than it did in Siege is, is where I am with that. All right, so next we have Gridlock. So, so Gridlock has her Track Stinger anti-personnel traps, and that's just like what she has in Siege, so not a big change there. Um, let's see if, uh, let's see if she, if she's learned any new tricks since she upgraded to React here. So she throws and deploys ground traps, all right, basic. Enemies hit by the traps take damage, all right, and move at a slower pace for a limited time. Now, that so it's pretty much the same gridlock, same ability. It's it, I think it's going to be really useful to be able to totally take away a a point of, you know, a point for the enemy to come at you and and basically Maybe there's a lot of enemies coming at you and where it would normally take maybe one or two, like two people to kind of watch this area. If they're slowed down and taking damage, she could hold down a, you know, hold down a way by herself. You know, she can hold down a room, a hallway, you know, alone, throw her traps down, post up, get ready for them to come and let the other members of the team kind of do kind of do their own thing. So I think she's going to be really useful for um, just taking care of an entire entryway and just single handedly kind of. You know, I got I got the left hallway. You guys go do your thing. 
and she's going to be rocking the F-90 assault rifle, so that's going to be her weapon she starts with. All right, I'm, I'm excited for Gridlock. I think she's going to be good in this. Nomad. All right, so Nomad served for years with the Mountain Infantry Battalion of a long, big French words before joining Rainbow Six. Terrific. All right, and she, of course, is going to be bringing her air jab. All right, so now the air jab, it shoots proximity mines, knocking back enemies caught in the blast, also clears the area of hazards. So in Siege, your air jab was super, it was very good. It was it was so good. Um, I've been knocked on my ass by it plenty of times, and it, it really throws you, it, it fucks your shit up. So, so yeah, it's... Uh, very good, very good uh, ability. And then she's rocking the AK-74M assault rifle. Can't go wrong with that. It's a little jumpy, a little all over the place, but hopefully, you know, you can kind of side in with it and, uh, you know, no one's going to be pixel peeking you in this, so you'll be, you should be okay. But yeah, that air jab, that's going to be, that's going to be fun. That's going to be fun and clears air of hazards. I wonder if it's going to clear um the sprawl that's around and like what hazards are they talking about because i know the sprawl that black goo is what like slows you down and shit i wonder if it does anything with that and i wonder what other hazards it's going to clear so um depending on what all it can take care of will really depend on how useful it is so it could be it could be a lot more than just for enemies so it could be super useful all right so that is nomad next we're going to move on to my boy smoke now i like playing smoke a lot um I love the fact that you could just gas out everything and run through it and the enemy, you know, they're taking damage and they don't know what the fuck's going on. And you're just like fucking laughing as you're running through that shit. Like, you know, I wish a motherfucker would. So we got smoke. And I love that his whole thing is like, he doesn't say what the fuck's in his canister. Like, like you're better off not knowing. And I think that's so fucking great. So his uh, specially designed Z9 toxic gas grenades um, are, it says, particularly effective against these new enemies all right so he let's see he throws remote remotely detonated smoke gas grenades dealing damage to enemy or dealing damage to an enemy in the gas and also it said in his uh in his showcase video that basically not only that but they can't see you through the gas which is nice too so throw a bunch of like if somebody is down or something throw a bunch of gas run your ass through that gas the enemy you know the the parasites are taking damage they can't even fucking see you you know light them up with your l850 you know l85a2 assault rifle you know get to get the res or get whatever you're going for so or the objective for that matter i'm gonna have fun playing smoke i have fun with them in siege and this this looks like this won't be uh this looks like this will be just as good it'll be just as much fun all right next we got ella and ella's looking like a uh, badass here like she looks like she is not playing no fucking games so uh, she wasn't the first choice for React. Look at that. Maybe that's why she looks like that. It's because she knows that she was uh, she was the kid that was picked last. But damn, she she looks like she is ready for fucking business. All right, and her Grismod Concussive Mines. Uh, these were always nice in Siege because you just throw them over doors, throw them around entryways, throw them on the floor, throw them on the ceiling. You know, people run in and it just fucks their world up. You run into this room, you are like, you're pretty much going to die unless you can flick a stick with the best of them because like they're going to fuck your shit up. The concussion, it, it, you're, you're fucked. So she's going to throw sticky proximity mines, stunning enemies caught in the blast and they recharge over time. And that's the one thing that they haven't really said a lot of is I'm not sure if like, you know, I'm wondering if these abilities, I know some of them obviously recharge, but like gridlock shit, does she have unlimited mines? Do they recharge over time? It hasn't really said nomad shots, same thing. So I'm really kind of wondering, and this one specifically says mines recharge over time. So I don't know if that's going to apply to most reusable or thrown stuff, or if this is a special thing for her, because if it's special for Ella, that's going to make her pretty desirable. Just the fact that her ability is going to be able to use repeatedly and maybe not just once per, you know, once per sub area, we'll have to see. And she's of course bringing, I love this gun, the Scorpion Evo three machine gun. That's going to be her starting weapon. I loved it in siege. It's such a good gun and she is bringing it on to extraction. So we'll see how she plays out. And then, Oh man, here he is here. You tell me, all right, just, just take a look at him. Just, just take a look at him. 
Tell me he does not look like a badass motherfucker. Look at this man, Sledge. All right, I love, he's one of my favorite characters to play. Running through fucking Siege, breaking walls down, keep going through like a fucking bull in a china shop. This man... And that sledgehammer looks pretty, looks pretty sick. And the fact that everybody else has guns and he's like, fuck a gun. I mean, he, you know, he carries guns, sure. But he's like, fuck a gun. I'm going to beat your ass with this sledgehammer. I love it. Uh, uh, and I love this uh, sledge only knocks once. <laughs> and I love that. It's so great. It is so great. I can, I, oh, I'm so happy they put sledge in here. So he, of course, has his, um, the caber, his tactical breaching hammer. All right, so he equips a robust tactical hammer which can stun parasites and destroy walls to create new paths. Now, destroying walls, that's pretty standard for him. And it's in, we already talked about it in uh, the first video I did, how important it is going to be to, to, you know, find a find your pathway, especially um, creating new pathways with a destructible environment and, you know, blocking off pathways. So, you know, Sledge is always good for that and that's going to be no exception here. But in addition to that, you know, being able to stun parasites that might be really good especially if you have some pretty meaty tough son of a bitches that don't just go down if he can just go up with a sledgehammer and stun the son of a bitch then i mean shit give his team enough time to actually put enough bullets into him to take him down that that's gonna be good that's gonna be good sledge i don't know if you're gonna have to unlock oh no i think if you play siege you get all the characters unlocked first like at the start i believe if you if you've played siege and of course we have. So I think Sledge might be the character I start with and start leveling up first. Um, he's got the the M590 A1 shotgun. Uh, not, a, not a huge fan of that shotgun, to be honest with you. Um, I would have rather had his assault rifle, but either way, a sledgehammer and a shotgun, I mean, that's in their face. Fuck them up and I love it. It's gonna be it's gonna be so much fun. I'm really leaning towards Sledge first, so they could be the guy. He could be the guy. Alibi next on the list. All right, I remember when Alibi came out. Um, it's like everyone got super used to her, but when she first came out, she was fucking shit up, and then everyone got used to it. And I mean, now I don't think she's a po she's as potent as she once was. But I mean, I can see a playing against AI how good Alibi can be. So um, so let's see. So she has her. She can deploy. A decoy from drones to lure and distract any enemies in the area. Enemies attacking the decoy become scanned. So pretty much exactly what she does in, in Siege. Um, so that's going to be nice. Um, it's going to be a, a nice proximity detection. So you want to know which way the enemies are coming from. You want to make sure you don't get flanked. You want to make sure that they don't, you know, come on your backside while you're trying to only watch so many ways. Because remember, there's only three of you. So that's going to be a good proximity detection. So you know when they're, you know, when you're getting flanked, when they're coming around the left side. Because like I said, you can only watch so many ways. So that'll be, that'll be pretty good. That'll be good. And then she's coming with the MX4 Storm SMG. Not a huge fan of the SMG. Um, it's pistol caliber, so not a huge lot of damage comes out of it. But, you know, it is it is versatile. It's for close combat. So it might be good in some of these situations, but not the biggest fan of that gun. But we'll see how she does with it. Uh, we'll see how if there's any changes from the, uh, from the Siege version. All right, next we have Lion, and when Lion came out, I played him actually quite a bit. His ability is, it was, it was, it's really good, it's, and I don't understand why people use it at the beginning of the, at the beginning of the match, they just automatically use this fucking ability, I'm, I don't know, I, it's very tactical, I think, if you use it at the right time, it, it wins the match, you know, it's all about timing with him, and there's, there's a right time, and a wrong time and a dumbass time to use to use his ability. So he detects all moving enemies in an area for a medium duration, requires a recharge after each use. I think that's going to make him really good is that he has another one of those rechargeable abilities. Uh, if it's not standard, then that's going to definitely help him out. And knowing where everybody is, I mean, that's, you know, that takes alibis detection a step further. It's probably, you know, it's a smaller, it's a smaller area around a certain point, but still being able to instantly just say, you know where all the enemies are hit the button here's where everybody is let's let's act accordingly and i love his gun because he has like the vector with the huge magazine the v308 assault rifle my god it's it's a beast and i love these it's like a, it's it's the best of both worlds it's like an assault rifle 
and then and an LMG had a baby that turned into some sort of an SMG fucking huge magazine, 50 rounds. Uh, all right, bring it on, Lion, bring it on. And this, to me, is an interesting choice next, uh, Visual. Bringing Visual into this uh, whenever it's, you know, it's PVE. So it, it's an interesting thing. He has his ERC, Electronic Rendering Cloak. And so basically, he disrupts enemies, making um, himself undetectable for a medium duration, requires a recharge. So that's basically what that that's kind of what he did in Siege. Um, he made himself un, you know undetectable to like cameras and drones and things like that. He would just kind of glitch off of a screen if you were watching the camera. So I thought it, so it was pretty useful, especially for the people that like to roam, flank, and things like that. He's he's going to be good in certain game modes, especially the ones where you have to like go for an objective. I could see he's going to be pretty. He's going to be pretty good in that. But it's I don't know. It's just I wonder how undetectable he is and if you're really undetectable to everything and i think uh, depending on how long that medium duration is that could fuck you like if you get out there amongst the enemies and you're like running through and you're you know you're undetectable you get to the objective and that medium duration ends and you're surrounded by a bunch of shit and your team is nowhere near you because you know you had to go by yourself to be undetectable you might be fucked you are gonna rely on that k1a1 machine gun because that's that's what you got. You're going to rely on it. And I don't know. I don't know how I feel about Vigil being in this, but we'll see. I mean, I guess he has the potential in certain game modes to be awesome. And then he has the potential to be kind of a, not, not a wasted ability because it's always great to go undetectable, but maybe not the best choice for certain missions. All right. And then uh, our, oh, this girl, when she came into the fucking game, Man, she's meta all the way. The hard breacher extraordinaire. You know, her her fucking type 89 assault rifle was always it was always a really good gun. So she is always at the top of the list. And then so she has her X Kairos grenade launcher, which shoots remotely detonatable sticky explosives that stick to all surfaces, detonate to deal armor penetrating damage. So I guess we're going to have kind of different damage types. It looks like if there's going to be armor penetrating damage, um, I guess we're going to have some armored uh, parasites to fight. So she's going to be doing, you know, doing significantly more damage. It looks like uh, than just regular damage. If you have, you know, the armor, the armor penetrating damage, but uh, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to be. I don't, obviously if she's not trying to go through reinforced doors and make, you know, make kill holes and stuff, I don't think that, that's good. Well, actually, no, that, you know, there are, there are game modes where you do barricade. So I could see her maybe putting some holes in a barricade where something can't come through, but you can still shoot through. So yeah, no, that, that would actually, she was, yeah, she'll be pretty good. That, that would, that would work out. That would work out. And then, um, I'm just wondering what kind of damage you can do with this. Like if you stuck that shit to like a big ass, um, alien, like what, what kind of damage is that going to do? Cause you know, before obviously in Siege, it was just for creating holes in and walls. I wonder if we've got a got a, a couple more applications because this this would be an upgrade if it does the right kind of damage. This this could be an upgrade for Habana. All right, so next we will look at Pulse. All right, and Pulse is always one of those characters that I want to be good with, but I'm not that good with because I think I rely too much on his cardiac sensor. And in at least in siege. So um, we have a FBI agent pulse here who has joined react with his HB seven cardiac sensor. And he detects VIPs, MIAs and enemy nests through obstacles. I think it's going to be good. And I saw um, one of the game modes where you had to like, and I, if you get like cased in that cocoon and get left behind, you have to, they have to go back and rescue you. So I think it'll be really good for like, he's like, this says detecting the VIPs and MIAs. And then um, the enemy nests will be good because those nests are what's, is what's creating that sprawl. So if you melee knife, destroy those nests, it, it not only just like takes out a small area of the sprawl, it, it basically clears all the sprawl around that nest. So knowing where those nests are could be pretty instrumental in detecting determining how you approach an objective you know how to tactically approach it so i think that he's going to be really good for the planning stage of okay we're here how are we going to get this shit done this is our objective all right then you use pulse you find them you find the objective you find the person you know where the enemy nests are you know how you can plot a path from there so i think uh 
I think Pulse will be pretty good with that. Um, I think he'll be situational. I think he's going to be for everybody in every game mode. But, you know, it should be pretty good. And then, of course, he has the M1014 shotgun, um, which, he, you know, he has in Siege. Again, not a big fan of that shotgun. It's all right, but... I would have liked to have seen him with, with another weapon, but you know, you can always get more weapons as you progress. So, you know, maybe you won't have to use that shotgun for too long. And then next and last, we have the two healers, so to speak of this. And like I said before, the health packs are not really a thing in this. So, uh, these these two I think are going to be pretty clutch, especially if you're going to do the harder stuff. Um, you know, if you're going to push and not extract after the first or the second, you're going to go all the way to the third. I think you're gonna want at least one of these two characters. Um, if it, you know, especially if you up the difficulty too. You, I think you're going to need one because there's only, from what I know, there's only two ways to get health, and that's that's these two. So we have first we have Finca. Um, she is making her way to react. And so Finca has um, nanobites, which basically temporarily boost the team's reactivity and survival. So um, probably is going to increase your speed, uh, your survival, maybe your ready weapon speed, revives any down teammates. And that was always really good. You know, somebody goes down, they just call out, hey, I'm down. You hit that button, they're right back up. You know, and then especially in this game where like in, you know, in Siege, you go down, they're going to finish you like right away. There's such a small window to get them back up with that revive. But in this game playing against AI, I think it's going to work really well, especially if you're not really close to, you know, close to your team all the time. You know, they go down, you you just hit that button they're back up then they can finish the fight that you know that took them down hopefully um and then they always go down to while active so um again another ability that stops you from going you know from going ko so that that'll be nice just like the other ability was you know with with uh, rook's shirts i think that this will be good too any ability that stops you from getting you know ko'd and just puts you down That'll be, you know, that'll be pretty good, especially, I think, for the harder difficulties. And, of course, she has her Spear 308 Assault Rifle. Great game in, or great gun in Siege, and I think it'll be pretty good here, too. So, Finca is going to be one of the healers. And then the other healer, we have my man, the Doctor, is about to operate. All right, so Doc is on the React team. You can't, you can't do it without Doc. You can't. You just can't. So obviously, like the name implies, he is the healing machine. He has a stem pistol, and that stem pistol fires um, health so you can heal or revive himself or his teammates. So keep that in mind. You know, you can heal yourself. You can pick yourself up. You can pick your teammate up. You can heal your teammate. You can do this at range. You don't have to be right next to them um, when they're down. So Doc is... Uh, you know, he's probably one of the most used characters. He's he's always nice to have. His his guns were always great in Siege. And his abilities, like I, like I say, some abilities are situational. I don't see how Doc's ability is ever really situational. Yeah, you have to wait for that situation to happen. But that situation will always happen. You know, you're always going to need somebody that needs some health. You're always going to, almost always going to have somebody that goes down. So it's a situation that you're, you know, it's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of when, which means that like, he is to me one of the most useful characters. I wish he didn't bring that goddamn SGCQB shotgun. He could have brought something else and he would have been, his MP5 would have been great. So maybe... He might be the second character I do. I'm just really close between him and Sledge. If I do him, I'm going for, I want the MP5. Let's let's put the shotgun bullshit down. Uh, but I may go Sledge first. Either way, though, these are two of my, probably my top priority characters to get down. Sledge because he's fun and Doc because I don't know if there's going to be anybody more useful, especially in the harder difficulties than Doc. He's just that necessary. All right, so those are the 18 operators that are making their way to Rainbow Six Extraction first. Um, will they add new characters, like original characters, maybe? Will they bring in more characters from, you know, from Siege? Um, I'd like to see that, too. Um, I'm kind of torn. I'd like to see, there's a couple favors that i like to see, you know. Um, where's Buck? You know, my uh, my buddy's going to wonder where Buck is because he that's his favorite, so... So we're missing we're missing some staples. I'd like Blackbeard too, but you know, I mean, I don't know how good he'd be in this game, but he's one of my favorites. So, all right. So these are the eighteen characters. Um, 
so yeah, this this looks like a good start. It's a good start. I'm excited to to get in with these guys, and I like the way that they've carried them over to react um, to Rainbow Six Extraction. They've kept the essence of the character. Some people got some upgrades and a little bit of tweaks, and then um, some people, for some reason, got strange new shit like Capital. I'm looking at you and your Venom arrows, buddy. So we'll see how we'll see how it goes. All right. Well, thanks for stopping by in the scope. Uh, you know, like, subscribe if you enjoyed this and uh, feel free to comment below. Let me know uh, if you're what character you're looking for to come from Siege if they're not already here. And if your favorite character is here, who are you repping up first? Who are you going to who are you going to take into this uh, war zone first? And um, and we'll see. See, who, you know, see who's excited about who in this game. All right. Thanks for stopping by.